I need some help today. Do you think you can help me? Yes. So I'm going to be making some Christmas presents for people that I really like. Do you have anybody you'd like to make a Christmas present for? Yes, my sister. Your sister. Fabulous. Okay, so let's make a present for your sister. Now, this is a recipe from the Kitchen Science Cookbook and it's called Shower Cakes and it's super fun, but they're not cakes you can eat, okay, because they're made out of soap. And we're going to use the cross-linking power of gelatin. So I'm going to start, here we have one quarter of a cup of hot water, so be very careful there. And into that, can you add one teaspoon of gelatin? And then sprinkle it in and give it a good stir. So we're going to dissolve all of that gelatin in there. We are going to add half a cup of soap, but not a bar of soap. We're going to increase the surface area so it dissolves in. And to do that, we're going to use a grater. So can you grate some of this soap? And be very careful that your hands are pointed away. That's it. Can you pour all of that into here for me, please? Very good. And we want your sister's skin to be lovely and soft and moisturized. We're going to add in a couple of drops of olive oil. And you can do any nice oil. You can do a lavender oil or something that smells nice. And we're going to add a drop of food coloring. Not too much, otherwise your sister will turn green. So just one drop. And then put a little drop in there. <laughs> and can you stir that? Perfect. They look very, very Christmassy. So over here, I have a baking tray with some little cupcake holders in there. So what I need you to do is can you spoon in some of that mixture into the cupcake holder? And we're going to fill that up. We're going to fill that up. Now what's happening is the gelatin, while it's hot, is going to unravel. And then as it cools, because we're going to put these in the fridge, the gelatin's going to curl back up and go from unraveled like noodles to curled up in a ball. And it, as it does that, it's going to take that water that we put in there and it's going to trap it in its structure. And then it's going to convert it from this, which is a liquid, to, hopefully, a nice solid. And then we're going to put these in the fridge overnight. And that gelatin is going to turn this from a liquid to a solid. Should we do it? Yeah. Okay, here's one we made earlier. And so here they are, they've been in the fridge for eight whole hours or overnight. So they're like little solid cupcakes of soap. And so these are quite fun. So we'll save this one for your sister. And what you can do is store it in an airtight container because otherwise they start to go all crusty and dry. So we're gonna store that in a box. And I think we can wrap a little bit of tinsel around it and a little bit of tape. And we can make this look very Christmassy for your sister. So here is your sister's gift. But we've got some left over. What we're gonna do is wash our hands. Let's use the yellow one. And so if you peel back the cupcake, you'll see you have this. So you're gonna wash your hands in this. So take the shower cake, put it around your hands, wash them like that. And can you feel all the soap starts to come off? So the gelatin is making it jelly-like, but the soap is making you have a nice clean hand. I'll take that from you. And then dip your hands in there, and you can see that you can wash your hands using a cake. And it's very pretty, and it makes bath time really fun because they're quite squishy and they're quite fun. And when you're finished with them, just put them back in your box and store them in the fridge or by the side of your tub, and they will keep for a good few weeks. How is that? Good. It's good, and it should because the oil in there make your hands nice and soft. So your hands will look young forever. <laughs> Do you think your sister will like it? Yes. I think she will too. So there you go. Simple recipe from the Kitchen Science Cookbook. How to make a beautiful shower cake. The Kitchen Science Cookbook. 50 science recipes you can do at home with ingredients you already have in the cupboard.